I have a stiff neck and severe pain due to this protrusion and I'm booked for operation and I have stomach ulcers. Please deliver me, man of God. It's affecting me because I can't stand or walk for long. I can't work. I can't do my home duties or attend to my children. I have not picked up my baby. Since last year was the last time I was able to pick up an older. I'm from South Africa. You take responsibility of your baby. Yes, I do. Can you forgive the father of your baby? <laughs> Please help me, man of God, because it's because so you, I'm saying you're holding a pain of the past. Yes, I do, man and, of uh, God. And there's a court case. Yes. Okay, when I pray for you, you are ready to forgive. Yes, yes I'm ready. And I will cancel you concerning this court case. Yes. And there's a property in your care. Yes. With the document. Come on, stand up. <laughs> Come on. Remove it, remove it, it's free. In Jesus' name. Yo, the pain is gone. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. The pain, I don't feel can pain you, anymore. Can you, can you open your lips there and say, You have forget and forgive? I forget and I forgive. Okay, you in know the name what of... you say on the altar now yes. is very, very important. Okay? Yes. It's very, very important. And there was a document in your hand, very sensitive document. Yes. Okay, I will see you. Okay, okay well, well, thank you. Thank you. Janine Ryan, I'm from South Africa. I suffered. Um, with the slip disc for seven months, since last year, December, when I got my injury. And uh, since then, um, I've been to different hospitals, and every doctor and specialist said the same thing. They need to operate because there's no, there's no cure for this thing. They only gave me a neck brace, and they gave me pain tablets, but it didn't help. As soon as a few hours passed, then I need to drink tablets again. I used to drink about nine, four tablets, every three to four hours. And the neck brace, but it didn't, really work and in fact it actually made me worse everything that they gave me as a solution made me worse because the tablets gave me ulcers and the neck brace also it didn't work and my neck was stiff i used to have severe neck pain back pain couldn't stand for long walk for long i couldn't be at work i couldn't perform my duties even as a mother um, i couldn't pick up my children and it brought me a lot of pain and frustrations because i couldn't be the person that i was i couldn't drive my car anymore um, clean my house. In fact, they had to help me in return. My children, my four-year-old daughter, they had to help me and my eldest daughter. So, in fact, they even said to me, there is risk involved in my, if I must do the operation because I can get paralyzed. So, and I refused. I said to God, I'm your child and your children must not suffer like this. And if they do suffer, there's a reason for it. But I refuse. I will not go for the operation. I need to get my healing. And um, the father of my children introduced me to a manual TV. And then when you finally came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, can you please explain to us what happened when Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you over these problems? Oh, when I came to this place, in fact, I was in hospital. I was hospitalized. I was, I was hospitalized for seven times. Within seven months, I was admitted seven times because of pain. And the last time I was admitted was in June. And um, while lying in bed in hospital, having a lot of pain, I had a dream of the man of God. He came to me and he said to me, go change. 
And I asked him, okay, so what must I go wear? And he laughed at me and he walked away. And after, immediately after I woke up, I realized that when he said change, he was not referring to the clothes I was wearing. He was referring to the change that was coming. And when I came here, the invitation, I knew that there's a great change that was going to happen in my life. And when I came to church, um, the experience here was amazing. I immediately felt the presence and it brought calmness. The Sunday, last week Sunday, I came to church. And immediately when the man of God came into church, the left side of my body started shaking. It started shaking. And the left side of my body was always a problem because of the nerves and the neck problems. And um, the man of God came to me and immediately, when, as he was walking closer, I felt the sudden calmness that came over me. It's like someone showered me with calmness. And uh, he came to me and he gave me prof three prophecies and he said to me, I must forgive the father of my children. And he also said to me, there's a, a sensitive document that I was holding in my hands and there's a property in my care and there's a court case as well that he says. So just before you continue to explain and confirm the prophecy, how do you feel now after receiving healing from this problem that plagued your life? Oh, after I received my healing, I feel so amazing. I feel so light immediately after he touched me. Oh, it felt like there was fire coming over me and calmness. It was like so different, many emotions all in one. It was like hot, hot and cold, what exactly at the same time. And there's no more pain. I can walk and stand for long. I was walking here in the church since last week I've been here. And I've been walking up and down, attending Bible studies, sitting for long. And every day, gradually, the pain was starting to get less. And today, I'm free. I'm fine. My heart feels lighter. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So can you please demonstrate for us how you are free now? Are you still experiencing pain? Can you exercise your body? Well, yes, I can exercise my body in all the different ways because uh, I can run. I can run and I can, I can jump because the doctors said to me that I, I'm not allowed to exercise because it will make the injury worse. So yes, I can do everything. I, can, I couldn't sit on my... On my knees, I couldn't sit like this. It was heavy pain, heavy, heavy, heavy pain. And your neck, can you move your neck now? Yes, my neck is fine. There's no more stiffness. I can sleep perfectly at night. I sleep throughout the night. There's nothing, 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 nothing. nothing Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Never a healer like our Lord Jesus Christ. And then also we see that you receive deliverance at the same time. Can you please explain to us now after your deliverance, how do you feel? How have you been sleeping? Yes, um, I received my deliverance. And um, I don't have, I, I feel so much lighter and I feel different. I don't feel angry anymore. I don't feel depressed because I have forgiven now. And I spoke to my father, the father of my children on Sunday. And I said to him, I forgive you. And you must also forgive me for things that I've done knowingly or unknowingly because the man of God said I must forgive. He said the promise that I make at the altar, I must, I, must, I must stick to that. Because the pain that I was carrying in my heart was making me sick and it was making me heavy. Because as women, we, we, we tend to carry things in our hearts. If we don't deal with things, we carry it. And now the more things you start adding, adding, it becomes heavy and it makes you sick. It gives you pain. It makes you angry. It gives you depression. So yes, I feel it different after my deliverance. I feel happy. The man of God also said that um, there is a court case that he sees and documents that I was holding. Yes, um, there was a property that I was in the process of buying. And um, if I was going to go through with that, the purchase of that property, it was going to lead to a court case because the house itself and the owners, there was a lot of confusion there. So if I was going to go in there, it was going to go through a court case because I was going to involve myself in the, the, the situation that was going on here and I thank God for using the, the prophet for seeing that and for warning me against that yes and um, you also said that there is a property in my care yes that is true because there was a property that I was renting yes so you can confirm everything to be 100% correct I confirm that everything is 100% correct so what do you believe that God Almighty is going to do in your life through these messages of prophecy well I believe that it's, it brought so much change so, so, so much change, and I was warned also against certain things that the prophets were seeing with regards to the court case and everything. So yes, change, change. That's what the man said to me in my, in my dream, and it's exactly what I'm experiencing now. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 
the story of Martha in the Bible, John 11, where she says to Jesus, Lord, if you were here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. But if you speak a word now, if you, what you ask of God, so shall it be. Martha's faith was so absolute. And we must also have that kind of faith that no matter how sick you are lying in your bed, have that faith of Martha. Because she believed that her brother would not have died. Have that absolute faith and ask God that he must give you that faith. You, you, you must ask him to give you the faith. The kind of faith that he needs to meet our needs. So that's the advice that I would give. Uh, we want to remind you that you should continue to make forgiveness the standard for your life because forgiveness makes future possible and also to make God's word the standard for your life so that you can maintain all these wonderful things that God has done in your life in Jesus name. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you.